Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Andre Leo's Backlog with Cody. Today we're playing Streets of Rage 2 on the Sega Genesis. Been on the Genesis kick lately. And this one is actually a request from one of my subscribers. Uh, the first request in Backlog history. So, let's see if we can appease him. It's a him, yeah, I think so. So, let's watch this intro animation and get, you know, familiar with the story. And that guy, Mr. X. <laughs> oh. Streets of Rage 2. That was hard for me to say again. Streets of Rage 2 is one of my favorite games growing up. But oddly enough, I didn't own it. But that didn't stop me from beating it mercilessly um, I re my, my first memory with this game I was at a slumber party slumber birthday party for a friend and uh, this friend had just gotten this game for their birthday and while everybody else was playing like party games and stuff I decided to sneak away to her room and play this game while no one else was around um, really quickly though, we've got Max, who is power, we've got Axel, who's technique, we've got Blaze, who's your average person, and then we've got Skate, your hip little 90s dude straight out of Brooklyn. Um, super fast, high jumper, uh, this is my go-to character for this game. So anyway, I'm at the slumber party, and uh, I'm playing Streets of Rage 2 before the person who owned it even had a chance and I actually sat down and beat it before anybody else found me like nobody actually apparently cared where I was because if they had they would have uh, come looking but they didn't so there I was playing Streets of Rage 2 all alone um, and I beat it and I actually got to the final level my, uh, another one of my friends who was also at the slumber party because, you know, little kids uh, all have the same friends. So anyway, he comes in. He's like, hey, what are you doing? I was like, oh, I'm playing, playing uh, Streets of Rage 2, and I'm on the last level. Please shut up. I, I, I need concentration. So he leaves me alone for a little bit. I beat it, and then I say, hey, this game has two player. Do you want to play it? And not five minutes after beating it, I just turned around and played through it again on co-op and beat it then. It it was that enjoyable to me. And since then, I've probably beaten the game two or three more times. Um, I, I don't know what it is about these beat-em-ups, but I've always loved them, and Streets of Rage just always made me really happy. I, it just looking it's looking back it's a nostalgia piece for me because I have that great memory and because it is so screamingly 90s I mean look at me I am wearing rollerblades as shoes where else are you gonna get that but the 90s or you know Portland Oregon but fuck Portland Oregon I don't care if the dream of the 90s is still alive there Boom, 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 wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. I mean, really, what? <laughs> this pipe's as big as me. I could see Max using it, but... Ugh, you've already got a pipe. Stop trying to pick that one up. And do you think this is a nickname or Skate's true name? Like, is he actually named Skate? Because I have a feeling that his parents did name him Skate. Oh, God. I also love these side scroll and beat em ups. Uh, a lot of similar ones like Separation Anxiety, Maximum Carnage, and so on and so forth. How they gave names to the enemies. These ones are very, very plain Y signal. Um, I'm sure you can figure out that one. And all that. But there are some games where every single person you're fighting has a, a, their own original name from this era. And it impresses, it, it just, I don't know, it blows me away with that kind of, like, dedication. And it, 
it adds an extra layer of depth to the games because it really makes you think about who you're fighting. Like, these aren't just thugs in the street. They, they are named people. They have mothers and maybe girlfriends or kids. Probably kids. Most of these people have kids. Oh, man. Jack is beating the shit out of me. See, he has infinite knives. I have limited knives. That's not fair. Ha ha ha, Jack. I would call you jackass. Yo, yo. <laughs> Kicked his ass. Oh, that's right. They don't give me more health yet. Are these like ah oh, dead? Are these people flashers or something? Why can't I ever see them? <laughs> what do you like that? You threw me into your friend. Ow. Charge! Oh. Never mind. I'm too close to be charging right now. I gotta get out of here. This is this is bad for my health. Thank you. Fucking hell. See, yeah, I've always been a fan of the beat em ups. It's just good, easy fun. It's way more enjoyable co op, like nowadays. I used to be able to play these games for hours and hours all alone, but. I don't know. There, there comes a point when you just want to play with a friend. <laughs> just want to play with a friend? Boom. Sorry, Donovan. Sorry. I just really dug in with that one. Didn't even give him a chance. Fuck you, table! Oh, man. This could be Skate's last breath. Fuck you, chair. Fuck you. Yeah! Skate found some food under the table. Skate needs to get a job. Hey, bartender, you want to call the NYPD, maybe? I knew you were who you were, you crazy bitch. You are not Electra. Don't you lie to me! I know Electra. Ah! I'm gonna kick you right in the con. Oh, for fuck's sake, Donovan. Oh, Jesus. I had that coming. This is a little harder than I remember it being. Like, obviously I'm doing alright, but... I, I just remember blowing through this game. <laughs> Ooh, that was a good scream. Next level area stage. Fuck! They just don't give me a break. Oh, who are you? Barbon? Barbon? Is that like bourbon? Ah! Ugh. Fuck you, strong man. Oh! I can't remember how the continue system works in this game, or if there even is one. Oh, I hope there is one. Because I'm not. I'm not cheating tonight, guys. I'm actually playing the game. Unlike my Marvel Land. I don't know what it was about Marvel Land, but I just, I couldn't do it. Oh, Skate, you've got to be like 12, right? What are you doing fighting this man? You should be in school. <laughs> Bitch! You ain't so tough. See? See what I mean? You ain't so tough. Oh, ow, ooh, ah, ah! Captain Barbarossa? Yes! Oh! Just when you thought I was down. I did cry. Stop throwing me! Oh my. That is his only move, apparently. 
Oh, no, he can punch me in the stomach as well. Are you happy, Barbot? You were beating up a little kid, a 12-year-old. Stage one clear. Oh, that wasn't bad, I only died twice. Oh, that is bad. That shouldn't have happened. Alright, let's do this. Fuck you. And I will... Please pick up that knife. <sighs> Why didn't you jump on his back and stab him in the head with the knife? That would have made more sense, Skate. Oh! Talk about timing. That guy doesn't have a name. The warrior without a name. Oh, that guy does. Both these guys are named Donovan. Do you think their parents were friends? Or maybe they're all, you know, maybe that's their last name. Uh, I would rather have this by a long slide. A long slide? Is that the, is that the, hey! That was my iron pipe! Give me that. No. Thank you. Haha! <laughs> Your name is Storm and I killed you. Oh, fuck. Storm, Gale. I think I'm getting the. Uh, okay. This is this is real cute, guys. But it's getting old fast. Oh, I can't reach my pipe. Holy Christ. This is why I hate anybody who owns a dirt bike. Oh, you made me waste my special move. Ah! I am more skilled at life than- oh, fuck. I'm gonna beat you with your own weapon. Holy Christ balls. What is happening? Okay. Sorry, Blade. Hey, if your name's Blade, why are you carrying that? Seems pretty dumb. I don't even need my weapon to beat you in the head. I will just use my own head. Alright. <laughs> What's going on in the background? Yeah! 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 Hakuyo. Hakuyo. Okay, so if I'm fighting like martial artists and uh, who I am assuming are Japanese enemies does this being skate is like what Japan perceived America as like this is what <clears throat> I can't do a Japanese accent at all <laughs> that was that was sad this is what American do see nothing that was that was, like, racist towards at least ten different peoples. I'm so sorry, anybody who I may have vaguely sounded like. <clears throat> All beat em up AI was the same. They back away from you until they're off the screen, then you back up, and then you jump kick, and then you kill them. It happened in the TMNT games, it happened in Double Dragon, it happened in River City Ransom. All time best side scrolling beat em up, go! What is it? Tell me in the comments. I'll tell you my favorite. Um, I think the most influential was River City Ransom on the NES. <clears throat> but I think the game that perfected it, perfected it, and in the right year, it was just perfect timing, was the MNT4, Turtles in Time. Um, they'd gotten everything worked out, everything was perfect, and shortly after that, that was the end of the arcade era, as well as the end of the beat em up era. Um, I mean, these were the perfect arcade games, and that's, that's where they originated, obviously. So, 
I would go with TMNT 4 for the best, River City Ransom for the most influential. But that's not to say that... But then I would also go with, um, like, Double Dragon 2, in my opinion, has some of the best music to be found on the NES. So, I mean, there, there's, some, there's, there's something for everybody there. Oh, hey, hey, hey! Oh, that was, that was just rude. Where are you? Where are you? Alright, I wasn't even lined up. Oh, right in the mouth. Fuck, flying enemies. Just always gotta be one, doesn't there? Okay, that did a lot of damage. <laughs> oh, thought you could get me, huh, Jet? Skate Jet, like how that lines up. It's like a cool future thing. Oh, fuck it, I'm gonna drink some of this cherry coke from an unknown brand. I'm doing pretty well. Struggled a little there in stage one, but I think I'm getting back into the zone. Yeah! Give me that pipe. Missed. What, you think you're as good as that game? Because you aren't. The game's way better than you are. Hey, how's, how's Riven? I've never played Riven. You know, Riven, the sequel to Mist. That's what it's titled. That's why I made that joke. And it wasn't really a joke, unless you knew it was titled that, so yeah. I imagine it's good. I mean, Mist was awesome, and Mist 3 and 4 were great, yet I've never played Riven. But I, I'm just guessing. Just guessing here. But you know what happens when you assume things. You find out you're wrong a lot. Boom, boom, boom! I like how the, uh... Bare Knuckle arcade machines are dropping money. It's accurate. Oh, apples. This one was fueled by apples. Oh, that might be uh, another joke. That I don't think they intended, but I'm taking it as one. I also love if you can manage to stack your enemies, like I just did, um, frequently in these beat-em-ups. Yeah, you'd be able to hit like four or five guys with one punch, which if you imagine it in uh, like a kung fu movie style thing, um, action sequence, not thing, it's pretty funny. Cool. I'm getting better at this game. Oh, Donovan, you're back. Hey, long time no see. Whose knife was this? <laughs> hey, is this any of your knives? Is this yours? Look at it. Hey, look at it. Can tell me if this is your knife. Is this your knife? Ah. Hey, Donovan, was that your knife? Oh, you were Gonzalez. You looked a lot like Donovan. Sorry about that. I am just destroying this game. Ah, oh, ooh, ah, uh, uh. It's Ryu and Ken! <laughs> just kidding, it's not. Holy fuck! I died hard! I like how the game gives you that little grace period when you respawn. Um where everybody gets thrown down like they just got rocked with a hurricane. Oh my Christ, Suzaku. Oh my Christ. Oh, head, meat, foot. I am better than you, Suzaku. I am better than you. My name is Kate. You have killed my father. Not prepared to die. I, I don't think that's the premise to the story. While I was talking, you guys were all reading it, so you should tell me what the story was. Or I'll just watch it when I put this video together. God, I forgot how much I love this game. It looks very good. It, I mean, it's not great, it was an arcade import, and we weren't very good at arcade imports. I have a fucking scimitar! Which I... Or no, this is a katana, I think. Uh, 
I clearly did not know how to use throwing daggers. Um, shurikens is a more accurate description of what- Ow, no, that is a push blade, isn't it? I thought it was a throwing star. Or something of the sort. What was I saying? Oh, um, yeah, it was a port of an arcade game, um, as most beat-em-ups actually were, and so there's a little bit of mistranslation. It, it, uh, the graphics are not as clear or crisp as they are on those um, beautiful monitors for the uh, arcade machines, and the controls are not quite as good. I mean, you would have been playing with a joystick and uh, those beautiful large buttons. But, I mean, you get the arcade experience at home, right? Um, it's Some are just so god-awful that they're not even worth, <clears throat> worth playing at home. Okay. This is... Yeah, this is not gonna work out with, like... Oh my god. I'm not gonna let the, just one group of douchebags take me down again. That's not happening. Bino? Is his name really Bino? That sure looks like Bino. Alright, I'm gonna wait for him so I can see him a little better. Oh! Just sucker punched a little kid, Bino. I hope that makes you feel good. I was hoping my special would have done a lot of damage to him, but I missed it. Oh! You just cut a little kid! Give me your knife. Right in the eye! Now you're, eye you're one eye to be, no. That's what everybody's gonna call you from now on. I hope that's a nickname you want to live with. I thought there was a way to throw your weapon, but... I don't know how, so I guess it's not going to happen.